The consequences of missing even a few hours of sleep can be serious. Research shows that short-term sleep deprivation can cause you to crave high-carbohydrate and high-sugar foods. It can even make it harder to choose healthy options when grocery shopping. Plus, one sobering study revealed that drowsy drivers who had been awake for 18 hours were just as impaired as drivers who had been drinking. Fortunately, there are steps you can take to help ensure you'll actually pass out once your head hits the pillow. 1. Do a 60-minute wind down. If you're moving at full speed all day, it can be tough to suddenly switch yourself off at night. We are assaulted by information all the time and it's really up to us to create routines that help separate the buzzing of the brain from our sleep routines, says Janet Kennedy, PhD, clinical psychologist, founder of NYC Sleep Doctor and author of The Good Sleeper, The Essential Guide to Sleep for Your Baby, and You. She recommends giving your mind and body a full hour to wind down from work, or happy hour, before you try to fall asleep. 2. Take a warm bath or shower. Spending time in a steamy shower could be beneficial even if you don't need to rinse off. Dr. Kennedy points out that your body temperature drops rapidly once you exit the shower. Research shows that this decrease in temperature can trigger a sleepy feeling because your heart rate, digestion and other metabolic processes slow down. This can make it easier for your brain and body to power down. 2. 3. Put on socks. Showering isn't the only trick in the book. When it comes to optimizing your temperature for sleep, the ideal balance is a cooler core and warmer extremities, says Professor Ankeli Israel. One study revealed that wearing socks dilates your blood vessels and can help blood flow, leading to a more optimal temperature for snoozing. 4. Try the 478 exercise. We've all been there. No matter how many times you flip over, you just can't seem to find that sweet spot that will let you slip into slumber. But instead of trying to find the perfect position, concentrate on finding the perfect way to breathe. By deliberately changing the pattern of your inhales and exhales, you can change your heart rate and blood pressure, two systems linked to sleepiness. Many relaxation specialists recommend inhaling through your nose, focusing on filling your chest and lungs for about 3 to 4 seconds, and then exhaling slowly through your mouth for double the time you were inhaling. Another method, known as the 478 exercise, involves inhaling for 4 seconds, holding your breath for 7 seconds, and exhaling for 8 seconds. 5. Don't get in bed until you actually feel sleepy. Trying to score some extra ZZZs by going to bed at 8 p.m. is a recipe for disaster. If you aren't sleepy, your body won't settle down, says Dr. Kennedy. And according to Professor Ankeli Israel, your sleep will actually be worse the longer you stay in bed. 8 hours of sleep is more efficient than 9 to 10 hours in bed, she says. 6. Practice calming techniques during the day, not at night. Relaxation techniques like visualization or progressive muscle relaxation can help you unwind. But don't wait until it's dark outside to try these for the first time. You don't want to do it the first time when you're anxious, Dr. Kennedy says. You want to start really getting the skill down when it's easy for you, then try it in more difficult situations. If you're using an app to guide you, try to practice until you don't have to bring your device into the bedroom with you, because that can mess up sleep, too. 7. Get out of bed. Lying in bed and worrying about your inability to fall asleep will not help. The second you start feeling tense, go into another room until you start feeling sleepy, says Professor Ankeli Israel. You want to condition your brain to associate the bed with sleeping and nothing else, she explains. 8. Hide your clock. Repeat after us, I must stop staring at my clock. You could be waking yourself up even more says Professor Ankeli Israel. When you're constantly checking the time, you're putting pressure on yourself and creating a more stressful environment. Plus, Dr. Kennedy points out that your phone can suck you back into daytime stressors with every text, email or app notification. If you need to use your alarm clock or phone to ensure you rise on time, 
put it under the bed or in a drawer so you aren't tempted to glance at it every five minutes. 9. Vent on paper. If racing thoughts keep you up, consider jotting down what's on your mind before you head to bed. Processing your feelings, good and bad, can help you relax into a sleepier state of mind. When you're thinking through that stuff and you're laying down, it can become circular, says Dr. Kennedy. By writing things down or making a list of tomorrow's did-do's, you'll tame any bouncing thoughts and turn them into a more linear narrative. Instead of endlessly worrying about the next day's workload, you'll have already plotted out how you'll get everything accomplished before you hit the hay.